Hello Battlefielders, my name is Captain X Factor coming to you live from the salty seas of Battlefield 4 with a TV missile guide featuring many tips and tricks that you might not know about. Including don't waste your TV missiles on little birds. It takes two to hit them. If they got a rep crew, it's going to take more. You're better off following up quickly with your 25mm burst or waiting till they're close enough and just dumping an entire mag of 25mm burst which will quickly take them down. It's one thing to see vehicles spotted on your screen but it's another thing if you pull up the main map in game and see exactly where they're setting. That tells you if you have to go over or around things. And anytime you see incoming fire on an attack boat and he's running for his life, one TV is going to disable him. If you get lucky, it might kill him. TV missiles can in fact still function when they hit a rolling wave and act as a torpedo. As it clips this wave, it's going to continue on a straight path until it hits a target or runs out of range. And more importantly, and more beneficial to you, it actually kicks you back to your primary secondary screen quicker. So as that TV missile is still in the water, you can follow up with 25mm as it's about to hit its target. Your gunners help keep you alive and you need to think about them as well. Obviously you want to play from behind cover, but if you decide to cross the open seas and see an attack boat, try to get a full head of steam before you send off your TV. Double check your target once you're in that TV mode and fire it off. By the time you leave the first TV, you still have a slight drift to you, making it just a little bit harder for those bush wookies to hit your gunners at range. Whenever it's an attack boat versus attack boat fight, try to get to cover. This TV missile's on the way, but I'm still going to try to get behind this reef. Always lead your first TV way out in front. Aim for the front of the cabin, because if you miss, you still got the whole boat. Obviously, the first TV is going to disable it. The second one will be much easier to hit. If he's getting worked on by other things, he's a goner. When the storm rolls in and parasol storm and you're going to hit something across the map, get some lift on your TV missiles. The last thing you want to do is hit a big wave and lose control of your missile. And the range on these things is ridiculous. Goes to gray screen because I'm out of range, don't worry, it still goes in a straight line for another two seconds. So as long as you're on target, like I am here, I will still hit it. Here's another example of using a torpedo, but this time in the high seas. Get some volume underneath it and try to come down in a strong angle, and it will go through the meatiest of waves. As you can see, a tow missile will disable you in one shot. There's not a lot of room to hide, so a lot of times you've got to fight your way out. And anytime you see an attack jet on something, just shoot. More than likely, your TV missile will finish them off. Even a miss with the TV missile can sometimes be a hit because they trigger C4 and mines, as such is the case here. He clearly slams the brakes, sees my TV, but I catch a mine. And this time around, you can see the other mine spotted as I finish him off with the help of the attack jet. You have to be very careful when you use your TV missiles because you get two in quick succession and a very lengthy reload. It's all about juggling vehicles and threat that's coming at you. So when you get the attack boat down on this map, you have a minute and a half of freedom on the seas. That gives you time to take pot shots at the LAV, tank, helicopter, rib, or anything else that might be chasing you around. And again, when you have your area controlled on a map such as this, that gives you the freedom to help out the infantry inland. Anytime you see an LAV actually shooting and driving like that, they're probably really hurt and trying to get to a safe spot to repair. If you get in a long range TV versus TV battle, canceling your TVs actually helps. Get your TV on point and exit out. That allows you to switch to your primary or move your boat to miss the incoming TV and quickly send another one or your primary downrange. You cancel TVs by simply hitting the exit the vehicle button while in the TV flight. And the last thing I have for you, if you run the burst 25mm cannons on the attack boat, you can actually shoot down incoming TVs. Don't use your APS, it's not going to work. The second you see that white ball coming at you, just fire. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this TV missile guide, and hopefully you guys have a lot more success with your TV missiles. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, we'll see you soon YouTubers.